Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing some stretching. Stretching is something that you should definitely be doing after every workout, but that you can also do at the beginning of the day to get your blood flowing or end the day with stretching to wind down. We're gonna start this workout out by doing some dynamic stretching to get the blood flowing a little bit and then finish off with some static stretches. I really hope you enjoy this workout and if you do, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and share with a friend. Now let's work. All right, let's start our stretching out by getting moving and getting the blood flowing. So let's start out with some head circles. Kind of relieve the tension in your neck and your upper back. And switch two, three, four, and five. All right, now let's loosen up the shoulders and the chest. And swing your arms back and forth, alternating the arm that's on top. You should try to be kind of ragdoll in your arms to get them to slap your shoulder blades a little bit. All right, that's your chest and your back. Let's get into tricep. Just kind of let your arm drop. Loosen up those triceps, alternating the sides. And twist, loosen up that lower back, the sit flexors, and bend at the waist, and just kind of let your arms swing. This is a good chest opener as well, stretching those biceps, lower back as well. Ready? Now get kind of, hips are a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, and just kind of lunge, Kind of put your hip into it to open up that groin. Loosen it up a little bit. Alright, and do some knee pulls. Reach and switch your feet. Reach, opposite hand, opposite foot. Open up those hamstrings and calf. Be sure to pull that toe up. You get a better stretch in your calf. Start slowing down our stretches a bit. Now we're going to start walking our hands out. Coming back to a down dog. And just a couple of legs. And come to a plank and down. Release your toes and pull the chest up to a low cobra. And down, and back up, and down. Now come to a tabletop. And we're going to cat cow for five. Now we're going to sit back into a child's pose. Knees are wide, toes are touching, and push those hips back. You can reach as far as you can forward. Put your forehead on the mat. And throughout this stretch, you're definitely taking some deep breaths to release your tension. And walk your hands over to your right. Open up that side body. You're really just going to stretch down your rib cage up along the left side. And back to center. And to the right. Reach over to the right. Open up that right side of the body. 
and back to center. All right, back to hands and knees. Now we're going to reach your left hand underneath your right arm and just kind of reach here, open up that side body again. You're gonna get a little shoulder stretch here as well. Be sure to be breathing throughout the stretches. And the other side, up and reach. And open back up. Okay, now we're going to find our seat. Take a seat. Legs straight out in front of you. Arms are up. Take a deep breath in. And blow it out. Let your hands fall wherever they can, whether that's on your shins, to your toes, wherever feels comfortable and you're starting to feel a little bit of stretch. And take some deep breaths here. And please, right foot over your left, keep your left leg straight. And just kind of hug in that right leg. You should be getting a really good stretch in your glutes. And to get more of a stretch, open up that right arm. And breathe. And release. Head all those legs out. And left to the right. Hug the knee in. flexor if your right leg is forward and let's put one hand down and reach towards your right continuing to stretch the left hip flexor out all right release and now go back to a runner stretch so rock your hips back left leg is bent Right, right toe is pointed upwards, and you're getting another hamstring and calf stretch here. Right, switch sides. Left leg is forward, right leg is back. Shift your right forward, and hands up if you can. We're stretching our right hip flexor. Sure we're breathing deeply throughout the stretches. And if you can, reach to your right and deepen that stretch in the right hip flexor. And come out of it. Right next, we're going to do pigeon stretch so we'll do a right foot forward and just kind of fold into that right foot and stretch. reach your hands forward and melt into your leg Up. When we come out of this one, 
we're gonna just kind of go back to down dog. Just pedal out those legs. And other side, that left leg up, put it between your hands. Have the right leg straight, left leg is bent, and melt down and reach. Take your deep breaths here. And back to down dog. And head off those legs. Okay. And we'll finish out with some sort of split stretches. So I would sit forward, open your legs as wide as you can. Not as flexible as I used to be, but we're working on it. And we're gonna start in a straddle and reach forward. Just kind of walk your hands out as far as you can. Big breath in, and release and hand melt down. Side body stretch, combined with that hamstring, and groin stretch to the left side. Continue to breathe here. And up. Right side. Okay, now let's transition to our back. Rock back, your knees in. We're gonna start out by doing a figure four stretch. So put your right foot over your left knee, kind of thread the needle, reach through that hole, grab your shin, pull in. Make sure your feet are active, meaning they're flexed. It's really get that good stretch deep in your hip. Switch sides, left over right, thread the needle, grab your shin, and stretch. Make sure those toes are activated, especially on that left foot. Be flexed, really feel that stretch deep in your hip. Hopefully all these hip stretches, we're gonna counteract all the sitting that we do at our desk all day while working. One more deep breath here. And release. All right, we're gonna put our right foot over our left knee again. We're just gonna let the knees fall to the right. And open up those arms to the left. So we're gonna bit of a twist. And also a hip opener and a little bit of a Quad stretch as well. Continue to breathe here. And release. Right adjust. And left over right knee. Let the knees fall to the left. And open to the right. And twist. And breathe. And for one final stretch, we're gonna butterfly. So, feet together, knees are apart. I'm gonna grab your feet, take a deep breath in, and press out and fold forward. 
take a second to breathe Look back on the things that we once believed in It's hard to see with these lies that come between And all the things that you made me do Just know that I would do it all for you Cause I can't let go of you Alright, well, that's the end of our stretching. I really hope you enjoyed this and you found this helpful.